Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another video. Today I have part two of my slow cooker series. I did a video probably a month or two ago and I'm just now getting to part two. So I'll link the first one down in the description box below if you missed that. If you're new here, I follow the Weight Watchers program so I'll be sharing the points but I also give the calories on my channel as well. As always, I appreciate the thumbs up on my videos and if you're new, I would love for you to be part of the family. So this slow cooker recipe is another one I found from the Weight Watchers website. This is slow cooker red bean sausage and rice soup. So so what we're going to need for this one is one can of dark red kidney beans. I've already drained and rinsed those. And then we also need one cup of uncooked white rice. And you want to make sure that you're using converted or parboiled rice. We also need a 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. All I had is these fire roasted tomatoes, so I'm just going to add these. I think that's going to be fine. We also need a quarter teaspoon of thyme and a quarter teaspoon of pepper and then also six cups of chicken broth. We also need one celery rib. I'm actually using three just because I had some to use up and also mine are pretty small. And then also the recipe calls for a green pepper. I'm using a yellow pepper in mine and it calls for a red onion. I only had a half a red onion in my fridge so I'm gonna also use a half of a regular yellow onion. And then also one clove of garlic. We also need some turkey sausage that I'm just gonna dice up. The recipe actually calls for nine ounces of cooked chicken sausage, but I'm just using 13 ounces of this turkey sausage. So the way that I'm making it with the turkey sausage, it's going to come out to about six points and 255 calories per serving. And it's gonna make about eight servings at one and a half cup servings each. So I'll link the original recipe down below and then I'll put my modifications as well. So that's pretty much all the prep work there is. Now we're just gonna combine everything in the slow cooker. I use my Instant Pot. My Instant Pot has a slow cooker function. I did spray my insert with some cooking spray. So now I'm just adding all the vegetables and the garlic. Then I'm gonna add the beans and the tomatoes and the juices and the quarter teaspoon of thyme and pepper. Then just give that a mix. I think my pot is messing with the lighting. Oh, that looks good already. Now pour in the six cups of chicken broth. And the sausage should have gone in with the vegetables. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference though. Give that another stir. And finally the rice. And the reason that we need the converted or parboiled rice for this recipe is because when you use regular long grain rice in a slow cooker, it can make it turn out really mushy. Oh, that smells good. So now we're gonna put this on slow cook for four hours on high. Typically when I do slow cooker recipes, I always do them on low. I don't think I've ever made a slow cooker recipe on high, but this one does call for four hours on high and it does not give an option. You know, sometimes they'll give an option for four hours on high or six to eight on low. It doesn't give that option, so I'm just gonna do it according to the directions. So it's gonna be slow cook on high for four hours. So I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, so this has actually been done for three minutes. Oh, that smells good. So I'm gonna show you the difference between the converted rice and the regular rice because I actually made this with regular rice and oh, it turned out mushy. So I'll put a picture up to show you it does not look good with the regular rice. So this is with the converted rice, so definitely use that. So let me get that into a bowl and show you what it looks like. All right, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, that has so much flavor. That is really good. I was thinking, oh, I keep fogging up my camera. I was thinking I wouldn't like it with the thyme because I'm not a huge fan of thyme. But that was really good. Just with that little bit of time is perfect. But you definitely could play around with the flavors of this though and add, dif add different spices that you like. But this was really good. Something I'll definitely make again. And honestly, this would be great for a meal prep throughout the week. So again, at eight servings, this is six points and about 255 calories. 
All right, the next one is one of our favorites. This is a zero point chicken taco chili. And let me tell you, there are a lot of different variations of this out there. So you just have to find one of the recipes and kind of tweak it to make it your own. So this is zero points and right around 200 calories. It's, I got 194 and that it serves 10, but it just depends on how much you put in your dish. Now I've already cubed my chicken up. I just have it in a bag here setting aside, but you can definitely use just whole chicken breast and put it down and just nestle it down in there. The instructions say low for eight to 10 hours or on high for four to five hours. Honestly, it does not take eight to 10 hours, especially when you have the chicken cut into chunks. So I find that honestly, you can cook this on low for about six hours and it cooks the chicken perfectly. But if you wanted to do it on high, I would say maybe four. The other thing with this recipe is it does say that after 30 minutes to break the chicken apart or remove the chicken and shred it, I'm not going to have to do that since mine is already cubed. What I do if I want it shredded, I just leave the chicken into a full chicken breast, nestle them down in there, and then 30 minutes before it's done, I pull them out, put them in a bowl, and use my electric beaters to shred them up. But I'm not going to be shredding. I'm going to just use the cube chicken this time. So what we need for this recipe is one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin. In here, I have a can of corn and also two cans of black beans. And I've already rinsed those and drained those. We're also going to need three cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies. If you don't like the spice on those, you definitely can just use uh, diced tomatoes. And then also eight ounces of tomato sauce. I'm also gonna use this low sodium taco seasoning mix. And then for the chicken, I use two pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast and one onion. This is so easy to do. Just take your slow cooker insert and give it a spray with some cooking spray. And then I'm gonna cut up the onion and then everything's just gonna get dumped into the slow cooker. And then, like I said, just dump everything in there. All right, now before you put the chicken in there, just give everything a good stir. And just dump the chicken in there and try to nestle it down in there. Okay, that's all that goes in there. So now I'm gonna get this going in my slow cooker. So then just cook that either on low for about six hours or high for about four. So now I'm just gonna stir it up just to stir that chicken in there a little better. So at this point, if you used whole chicken breast, this is when 30 minutes prior to it being done, you would take that chicken breast out and shred it. But see what I mean? The way that I do the chicken, it almost ends up shredding anyway. So this is what it looks like all portioned up. And honestly, it doesn't usually make 10 servings for us because we usually probably do, I would say one and a half times for each serving. We don't do a double serving, but probably one and a half. So then you can just load it up with whatever points you want. So since it's zero points for us, then we just load it up with points like avocado, sour cream, maybe some cheese, you could put cilantro, green onion, whatever you normally would put on like chili type things, that goes great on this. So that's the zero point chicken taco chili. All right, this next slow cooker recipe is, I guess, kind of a bonus one. I'm just going through, this was actually an old video that I filmed and I never put it up. So I'm making slow cooker chicken and vegetables and what I've done is just put some aluminum foil crisscrossed in my slow cooker down on the bottom and then I've sprayed it with some cooking spray and then I'm just cutting up all my vegetables. I cut them into just little bite-sized pieces. You can use whatever vegetables you want. I'm cutting up some onions, some celery, some carrots. You'll see I'm putting some of the vegetables to the side there. That's because those ones are actually gonna go inside the chicken. 
So now I'm just cutting up some potatoes. So for this recipe, the potatoes are the only thing that have points. So calories on this one, I'm really not sure because it just depends on how much you have. I honestly don't usually weigh or measure this out since most of it is zero points. I also put a good amount of garlic inside this. I love garlic, honestly, in anything. And then I'm also gonna quarter up some lemons and that's gonna go in there as well. Put whatever seasonings you want in there. I use some salt, pepper, everything bagel seasoning. Sometimes I'll use garlic salt if I don't put garlic in it. And then you can put either just water or you can put chicken broth in there. Now just stuff the vegetables inside the chicken and then I just take a spoon and kind of push the garlic in there and try to season underneath as much as possible. I leave the skin on but then I don't end up eating the skin. So then just plop that right on top of everything. I try to spray the sides of the crock pot with some cooking spray and then I always put brush a little bit of olive oil on it as well. And then I usually slow cook that for anywhere from six to eight hours. All right, this is done. It's actually been done and I've kind of let it sit here, sit here for a few minutes just to cool a little bit. My husband came home and actually tried some of it and he said it is amazing. So I'm going to get that all out and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is my portion on a plate. And honestly, I only count this about probably a three point dinner. You can have a 5.3 ounce potato for three points. So that's usually what I count it for. And there's lots of leftovers. And then all the scraps from the vegetables, I save those. I'll either put them in my freezer and that way I can make a chicken broth or I'll just make a chicken broth the day that I actually make this. So I'll use the vegetable scraps as well as the chicken carcass. I'll just put them all in my pot and just make my own broth with it. And I do have a video on how I make my own broth. I'll put that down in the description box below. So let me know in the comments what your favorite slow cooker recipe is. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.